What is going on, people? And thank you for joining me for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, today, the clue is in that massive plant pot of a glass. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing a hoe garden on the perfect draft beer dispenser, if you're American. Um, yeah, it's a hoe garden, but it's a hoe garden rose. It's like a girly version. It's only 3% ABV. I didn't realise that when I ordered it. Um, yeah, I've had it for a few weeks. Um, <laughs> I haven't reviewed it yet, but yeah, the missus quite likes it. Uh, but yeah, let's give it a review. Uh, it's one of the cheaper kegs. It's about 33 quid a keg. Not surprising really at 3%, is it? I like the regular Ho Garden on the Perfect Draft. Uh, let's see if this one's as good, I suppose. Um, say 3% ABV. I think it's supposed to, uh, ro I don't know, it's, it's pink. I don't know why it's pink. Um, it's just like a flavoured wheat beer, pretty much. Hoe Garden being a Belgian wheat beer. Um, yeah, let's see what it's like and uh, whether it's, what's so what's been added to it to make it pink, I don't know. Uh, let's pour it out on my new Perfect Draft Pro. First time pour I've done on it, actually. The missus had one of these last night, so she christened the machine. Actually, it was Carla. So, yeah, but it's going to be my first pour in the plant pot as well. <laughs> Let's get it poured out. Uh, let me know, guys, if you've tried this particular beverage. And do you feel like a girl when you drink it? Not really, now, do you like it? Uh, if it's the end of the keg, it wouldn't surprise me. We'll see. Because uh, it's been in it for some time. And this glass is massive. But I've got two new kegs to put on. I've got the old um, Life and Death Vocation. And we got the... Oh, she's a bit of a grumbler as well. It's, it sounds a bit different, the rumble on the Perfect Dark Pro than the rumble on the OG machine. Does it go on as long? Believe now, I was hoping they might fix that. Obviously not. I am going to do a, like a review of the machine. Give me a bit of time to sort of use it and suss it all out and that. But I have got it connected to the Wi-Fi now. Uh, anyway, back to the beer. God, that, that noise was more like a, it's like the OG machine, but it's, it's balls have dropped. It's a bit more of a deep, isn't it? Uh, anyways, onto the beer. <laughs> it's like, it is like a red, reddy pinky color. Uh, white head, bit, bit of a pink tinge to the white head. Pat bubbles. Uh, Good levels of carbonation considering that keg's been going for about three weeks. Um, here's a look at beverage in the glass. It's coming up a little bit. The lighting's not that great in here today. I just couldn't be bothered with it. Uh, yeah, let's look at beverage. Let's check out the aromas of Hoe Garden Rose. It smells quite sweet. Uh, it... <laughs> It reminds me of raspberry jam. It smells like raspberry jam liquid, liquid raspberry jam. And not a lot else, to be honest. Uh, them sort of typical characteristics from a, a wheat beer are kind of overtaken a bit by the raspberry. It smells like a raspberry puree or something that's been added to it. I'm pretty sure that ain't come from the ops. Do you know what I mean? Uh, look at the colour of it. Uh, I don't know if it's real raspberries or not, but it, it smells like a raspberry puree. Like them patch things you give to your kid, the sh you know, that they suck on them little patches of like smoothies and all that. It reminds me of like a raspberry one of them or something. Don't know. That's about it. Let's, let's, it's all in the taste, isn't it? Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Let's see if I think it's worth a buy or a bag of shit. Ooh. Nice and cold. I've got it set to three degrees. That is the recommended temperature. So, so far I've not done nothing I couldn't have just done with my own machine because that has to be set at three, whereas the pro you can set it to what you want. Uh, does it taste any different than when it was in the OG machine? Not really, to be honest with you. Look, it's not horrible. Um, it's a bit watery. I mean, it's 3%. That would explain why it's watery. I mean, it does taste 3%. It's, 
it's almost like borderline like an alka pop drinking an alka pop or something you're not really getting any of the wheat beer flavors at all it's just it's like a liquid raspberry jam it's thin <clears throat> it's jammy there's not a lot else you can really say about it good levels of carbonation you can really feel feel the carbonation uh it's not really a beer. It's more like a, a cocktail or something. I mean, it's refreshing. It is refreshing. And on a hot day, don't get me wrong, it is going to refresh you. Perhaps maybe you're cooking on the barbie and you don't want to get too pissed. So you start cooking pink sausages for your guests and that. Maybe this would be a good one. Because to be fair, it is refreshing. But it's a little bit sweet. It's not as sweet as it sounds, though. But it is fairly sweet which, you know, depending on your taste buds, that can be a good or a bad thing. For me, it's a bad thing. Uh, but my missus quite likes it. And so does my daughter. Um, I think it's a bit of a girl's beer, if I'm perfectly honest. I feel like a great big tart drinking a plant pot of it. And it's just not for me. I'll never order it again. I'm glad I managed to finally review the keg after about three weeks. And I can say... That it doesn't taste old or anything like that. So perfect drafts, fair dues. It's the longest a beer has ever lasted me in the machine. And yeah, I wouldn't say it tastes any different from three weeks ago when I tried my first pint of it. I won't be buying it again, even if it was a tenner. It's just, maybe if it was a tenner, I'd buy it for Lisa. That would just be really harsh and selfish, wouldn't it? But you know what I mean? I wouldn't buy it for myself, even if it was a tenner. Because it's just, it's just not my thing. I'll give it a 4 out of 10, to be honest with you. Probably the worst keg I've had so far. Because it's just pointless, it's 3%. You know, I like the effects of alcohol. I could drink a whole keg of that, and I'd still be able to do cartwheels in the garden, you know. Uh, 4 out of 10 for me. Let me know if you agree or disagree with it. It's a lot of money to pay for a beer that's not going to get you pissed. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But then maybe some people just would like it just for the taste of it. But three quid a pint or whatever it is for 3% liquid. My well, piss is IAB meaning that. Thanks for watching, people. I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know if the new mic sounds better or not. Um, and what you think of the new setup. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the smash the like button. Can subscribe to the channel if you're not done already. We're getting really close to 3K now. Come on, darlings. Help a man out. Till next one, people. Bye-bye, darlings. Bush.